So when I first started shooting, I was shooting on a Canon 70D and my favorite lens to use was the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter. The Sigma was a super wide lens. This was a lens that I never really took off my camera, but since then I switched over to Sony and I've been trying to find a lens that can do everything that that 10 to 20 can do, but better. <laughs> and I think that I've found it. That's what brings me to the Sony 16 to 35 f 2.8 g master lens so i got this lens around december 20th which is now a little over a month ago and honestly i don't think until like this point i've taken it off my camera a lot of that has to do with i'm having a ton of fun like getting back into wide angle shooting. For the past year, I've been using the 24 to 240, which doesn't have that wide of a focal range, but also because the 16 to 35 is a super versatile lens. So because it has a 35 millimeter focal range, you can use this lens for a ton of different shoots. I've used it for portraits, landscapes, obviously, and I've done a few real estate shoots with it as well. It's also a really good video lens. It can really capture those wide cinematic shots that lenses like my 24 to 240 just can't get and with the photos it is a super sharp lens um, i think it peaks at around 24 millimeters at f4 but at pretty much any focal range or any aperture i've noticed some very sharp images it's just a super nice piece of glass a big purchase point on this lens is the 2.8 aperture and Honestly, that comes in handy a lot of the time, especially for the real estate stuff like I mentioned before. When you're working in those low light settings, it it's really helpful. I still have yet to test it out for astrophotography. I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that, but from all my friends that do have this lens, I've heard really only good things. It's also super good for product photography. Uh, the 2.8 aperture allows for this really cool bokeh effect that you can get on different products that you're shooting. Now let's talk about the big thing, the price. The price for this lens, I think if you buy it brand new on somewhere like Amazon, I think it's around $2,100 US, but I've seen it go for cheaper on eBay, um, which is where I usually always buy my camera gear just because you can get stuff for so much cheaper. But even with that, it's still the most expensive lens that I've ever purchased. And when you're talking about a wide angle lens for that price, it can seem a little bit steep. But like I said before, if you want to shoot low light events like real estate, handheld night landscapes maybe, or astrophotography, it might be worth the price for you. But if you're debating on getting this lens or the Sony 1635 F4, you might wanna go with the F4. The F4 goes for around 950 on Amazon. And again, I've seen it go for cheaper on eBay. I've heard only good things about it. Um, I have a few friends who use the lens regularly and they absolutely love it. I've seen some of the videos and photos that they've produced with these lenses and they're super clean images. I've talked to them a little bit about the difference in f-stop and what I've gathered is it really doesn't hold them back. A lot of the time they're still able to go in and get what they need to get. Me personally, I would probably go with the cheaper option if you're really on the fence about it, but that's just my opinion. Regardless, the f2.8 is by far my favorite lens that I've ever had. It's a ton of fun to shoot with, and I'm super excited to get a ton more use out of it. Probably use it mostly for photos, um, which I do post on my Instagram. So if you don't already, please go follow me there. I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Later, dudes.